and welcome to a new video. I'm Amay Sims and in this video I will show you how I make my sims go from this to this. As you might have seen on my channel, I love using Alpha CC when I create my sims. I think it makes them look really cool and it sort of improves the way they look. So today I will tell you what I think of when I make my sims. If you want to make a sim look more realistic, I recommend having a reference photo to look at. This makes it easier to know where the different parts of the face should be, like the placement of the eyes and the nose and the mouth, for example. I also suggest using sliders to make the face less symmetrical, because a real human face is usually never fully symmetric, so I personally love changing the appearance of the sim's face to be not so perfect, and that also gives the sim more character. When choosing eyebrows, I always take the ones that look really hairy. They are more real looking and not too clay-like, if you get what I mean. However, sometimes a pair of eyebrows are hard to form in a pleasant way, so I have to take a long time to get it the right way that I want. Sometimes I even change the eyebrows right in the end when I'm nearly done, so you might have to wait with the eyebrows to see what fits the sim in the end. The nose can really make a sim's face, so I think about the kind of nose I want my sim to have and then I play around to get it similar to the idea that I had. I think it can be hard sometimes to achieve a very specific nose in the sims but sliders do make it a bit easier. Here you can see that I use a slider to make her eyes asymmetrical. The skin you choose for your sim is really important. I love these from Sims 3 Melancholic. They look very realistic but they still fit the game really nicely and I will have listed all the CC I use for the sim down below so if you want this skin just follow the link. And here I am choosing a pair of eyes and these are really my favorite of all I have and I do have a lot so I will link these as well but just choose a pair of eyes that you think look nice and fits your sim. I'm usually never 100% sure of the color I want so I change it a lot before I'm satisfied with how it looks. Sometimes I use face details such as freckles, eye bags and it kind of just depends on who I'm making. Will they have makeup or natural face just play around and don't be afraid to try new things if you don't like it in the end just take it away or change it and when it comes to makeup makeup is really just a personal preference some people like a more heavy eye makeup while some like it more simple I have downloaded a CC collection from Praline Sims that has a bunch of different eyeliners so I have a lot to choose from all the time and I highly recommend doing that Finding a pair of lashes can be hard, sometimes they don't fit the shape of the eye and it is really annoying so I recommend downloading many different ones so you have many to choose from. Just go CC shopping and try to find some that you think look nice. When it comes to the hair, I try to find a style that I like and make sure it has a texture that looks good with the rest of the sim. This time I found one kind of quick, but it happens that I spend like 20 minutes trying to find a hair. Um, and the same with clothes. Sometimes I feel like I never find something I like, but luckily I found a really nice outfit this time. But before I start looking at the clothes, I finish off her makeup, I give her some lipstick, or in this case just another lip texture that I really like. And then I do some small fixes to her face, trying to get all her facial features right, and I'm even changing the ears. And now I change her eye color to brown, just because I thought it suited her hair very well. I also give her a nose piercing, and I try to find a pair of earrings. I have a lot of CC earrings thanks to Pralin Sims. They have a bunch of CC packs which makes it possible to download many things in just one download. And it's super nice and I don't think I would have had these many earrings to choose from without them. And you will be able to find a link to the pack in the CC list in my description box so you can download all these earrings from there if you'd like. And now it's time for the outfit. It is really hard to decide what clothes she should have when there are so much to choose from. And sometimes I find a nice pair of pants but I don't manage to find a matching shirt so this can take time. But this sweater is really cute and I think it goes really well with the jeans. Necklaces are also hard to decide on, especially when you have one of Praline Sims packs. There are many different styles to choose from, but I think this one with the guitar pick was super cool. 
Right now I am doing some final touches and I changed what I am not happy with. I got a lot of criticism in one of my videos that the same I made had two asymmetrical eyes and I just want to say that make your sims however you want them to be. If you want an asymmetrical face make that and if you don't, don't. At least I am really happy with how this sim turned out. I don't know if you like it but I do and I also give her some nails and rings and now I'm almost done. Here is the finished result. I hope you like how it turned out. I think these jeans are super gorgeous and I think she looks good as well. It is very different from how we started and here is the before and after pick. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Yeah.